Daddy Chef Buck here and today we're going to cook up some potato cakes. But we're going to be using sweet potato. Boom! Because it's sweet like me. The sweet potatoes are packed with nutrition. They're awesome for breakfast, lunch, dinner, or the meals in between those meals. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to shred it up using just a box cutter, just a hand grater. That's going to give us some nice potato strings. Alrighty, so once you get it all shredded up, you're going to have a, a nice bowl of sweet potato strings. I'm going to add about half again as much onion. So whatever amount of sweet potato you have, you know, use about half as much onion. Now you could shred this up, you know, if you got a little hand grater, you know, just like I did with the sweet potato, you could take your onion and you could shred that up. But if you do it that way, you will probably die. From you know, tears. Exactly. You will be asphyxiated. You will drown in your own tears. You know? So I would rather just cut this as thinly as I can, you know. Cut some nice slices. Just like that. You know, instead of grating it. And that way it'll have some nice stringy lengths. And it'll kind of interlace with the sweet potato, you know, and form this grid lock. That'll help to hold your cakes together. Nice and thin. How thin should it be? As thin as your mother-in-law's patience. Of course, I don't mean that for my mother-in-law. <laughs> Alrighty, so there we got our thin cut onion. We're gonna go ahead and throw that in our bowl. Boom. To that, I'm gonna add some thin slices of jalapeno pepper, which you don't have to do. I like the taste and kick of a little jalapeno pepper. And see how stringy that is? See how thin and stringy those are? So go ahead and get everything mixed up. And because of the stringiness of all these ingredients, that's going to help them stick together when they're frying. But we're going to end up with a big Halloween snaky looking pile of, of wormy looking stuff. Now we're going to throw a little bit of flour in there. Not a whole bunch of bunch of, this is some rice flour, but use whatever kind of flour you like. And not a whole lot. I'm probably going to end up putting maybe two tablespoons. Go ahead and mix it up. And uh, get that flour coated on our strings a little bit. And it's not a whole lot of flour at all. But this is going to help uh, our egg to bind to our strings and kind of help hold things together. So now we're going to... Whoops, crack us a couple of eggs. Boom. All right, we'll go ahead and beat our egg up a little bit here. Boom, boom, boom. Then we'll throw it in there with our stringy bits. Get it all nice and coated. Spread that egg throughout. And it's not going to be overly eggy. It's not going to be overly floury. Our string's all mixed up, our flour and egg in there. Now we're going to throw in a little bit of spices. I got some uh, freshly ground salt and pepper right here. And you can add as much salt and pepper as you like. We're going to throw in a little bit of curry powder. Camera girl especially likes a dash of curry in her potato cakes. Now this is optional. You can use whatever kind of seasonings and flavor you like. But curry is a nice taste. And then even though I got fresh jalapeno in here, I'm gonna throw a little uh, chipotle in here as well. Some, some dried smoked jalapeno, which is gonna make it hotter. Sorry, Camry Grill, but it's also gonna have a really nice flavor. So let's mix this in. Mmm. It looks like a giant worm fight. So we'll go ahead and boom. Throw our skillet on the stove and we're going to heat this up. I'm going to put it on medium high heat and then I'm going to add a little bit of oil in there. Not a little bit, quite a little bit. Son of a buck! <laughs> Alrighty, come on, look at that. It's, 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 uh, 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 uh. What? it's kind of clean. Get oil. another one. Alrighty. Alrighty, if camera girl wasn't in here supervising. <laughs> we've been using a floor spoon. So we're heating our skillet up and we're going to throw some oil in there. Quite a little bit of oil. Use whatever kind of oil you like. I've been using coconut oil a lot lately. I've been using this Kroger brand coconut oil. Man, this stuff is cheap and it doesn't have a coconut flavor. You know, I like coconut flavor, but you don't want you don't want your non-coconutty type dishes having a coconut flavor. Alright, so we got our oil nice and hot. 
we're going to go ahead and spoon some of our potato mixture on here nice and stringy get a spoonful of it a nice glob throw it on there you don't want it to be too thin we're going to go ahead and smash it out spread it out a little bit make a nice little cake we're going to do that three times you know, usually with one potato, I can get six cakes out of it quite easily. But you don't want to crowd your pan. So we'll go ahead and make a cake shape. And then we'll let them sit by themselves and fry up on one side and get a nice cooked edge. That way we'll be able to turn them quite easily. Boom, this one might be a bit big, but that's okay because we're going to leave it alone and we're going to let it cook away for about three minutes. All right, we'll come back in three minutes and give it a flip. All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn this down to medium heat because it's, it's cooking up pretty quick, you know, and you want it to cook for about three minutes on each side. So I'm reducing the heat down to medium. After three minutes. It is. There's my three minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it. But like I was saying, what was I saying? You don't want it to be so hot that it burns because you want it to cook through. But you want to give it about three minutes. You know, see how they're moving around on their own now? They're kind of sticking together because they're nice and stringy. We got a little bit of a brown edge on there. And we'll just turn each one of them. Boom, carefully. Ooh, that looks pretty. That looks awesome. Boom, boom, boom. Now we'll give them three more minutes on that side. Woohoo! All right, we'll be right back after these messages. Messages? We ain't got no stinking messages. All right, so there, it's been three more minutes. Let's see how we're doing. Looks nice Woo! and dark and cooked on that side, so that's plenty good enough. So we'll get these off. Let them drain on our uh, paper towel there. Batch number two. So I got three cakes out of there, and so I've got half of it left. Divided that into three more portions, so we end up getting six cakes from one medium potato with just a little bit of onion and jalapeno and flour and two eggs added in there. Nice. Alrighty. You know, and if they fall apart when you turn them, that's okay. Just smash them back together. You know, sometimes if you make them too thin, they'll want to fall apart. And you know, I've made them before with one egg, and I like it with one egg, but you gotta be a lot more gentle if you're just using one egg. But I use two eggs with this batch. Uh, so they hold together really well, especially because they're strings. You know, that's the key to holding them together. It's the string theory. It's the string theory, you know, for uh, dummies. Then that's it sweet potato pancakes you know eat them however you like see they kind of hold together really well all righty so we're going to serve it up with a little bit of a uh, fried apple and some egg and spinach and our lovely little uh, potato cakes super duper delicioso Ooh. nice little runny yolk there for a sauce you like it the, oh, you like it the sauce i do like it a sauce <laughs> But this kind of looks like breakfast, but this ain't breakfast, this is our dinner. And this dinner is a winner. Alrighty, there you have it, boom. You know, subscribe. If you're not subscribed, share the video, try the video. If you want to print the recipe out, go to myfoodchannel.com, link down below. You know, print it out, make it for your loved ones. They will love you even more, although I'm sure they couldn't love you more than they already love you. But just in case. Maybe you should make a fancy pants sweet potato cake for them and that way you'll have all your bases covered.